If you told someone butter was good for you, they might look at you like you have two heads and then they'll go and spread, I can't believe it's not butter or earth balance on their toast. Yet humans have been consuming animal fats for hundreds of thousands, if not millions of years. It is really unfortunate that this idea that fat is bad for us is so ingrained in our culture that people will shy away from foods that are the most important for our health. In the case of butter, most people are actually unaware of the vitamin content of butter as well as the other beneficial properties, particularly in regards to fatty acids. When we say butter is a superfood, we really mean it is a superfood. It is an excellent source of vitamins A, E, and K, and depending if it was on summer pasture, it can also have a fairly high vitamin D3 content. Now, this kind of parallels to all grass-fed raw dairy. And the important thing to keep in mind here is the vitamin content of the butter will correlate directly to the pasture quality that the animal was on. But in the best case scenario, butter is an amazing source of these vitamins and most importantly, it's the animal version of these vitamins. It's vitamin A in the form of retinol. It's vitamin K in the form of K2. It's vitamin D in the form of D3. And it's present in large amounts of animal fat that allow it to be absorbed easier. Other well-known benefits of butter are its butyrate content, and you'll commonly hear, see people talk about feeding beneficial gut bacteria fiber to produce butyrate, but you can actually just consume butter. Increases HDL cholesterol, what people consider the healthy cholesterol, and people that consume butter actually have lower rates of heart disease than people that do not. It's also worth mentioning that in addition to this considerable fat-soluble vitamin content, Butter is also an excellent source of linoleic and linolenic acid. So although it might not have an incredibly high amount of preformed EPA and DHA, the body can convert those precursor fatty acids into EPA and DHA, especially in the presence of the high fat content. Here today I have a fairly dramatic and interesting comparison. Here we have on the left raw farm grass fed butter. And here we have on the right, you know, your basic supermarket white butter. This is white. Uh, doesn't really have much of a smell to it. Very classic, like, you know, buttery taste that you're familiar with when you grew up. This butter is a deep yellow, has like a sweet, nutty smell to it, a really deep, vibrant yellow color. And, you know, if you look at the vitamin A content on this, uh, it does have some vitamin A from whatever they're feeding the animal, but it is very clear visually that this butter has a much higher carotenoid content in it because of the beta carotene that is in the grass that the cows are eating. We can also assume that this butter has a substantially higher K2 content as well as other fat soluble vitamins. And not only does it have a substantially higher amount of these vitamins, in the case of this commercially raised butter, this might not really have any fat soluble vitamins at all. So we're essentially transforming a nutritionally empty food that's just calories into something that is an excellent source of nutrition. This is why food quality plays such a huge role and why I really don't recommend people consume dairy unless they have access to high quality raw grass fed dairy. Now, you might be thinking, Frank, can I just buy things like Kerrygold or can I buy grass fed butter from the supermarket? And the answer really is no because Kerrygold has been known for fraudulence many, many times. Uh, it's technically not actually grass fed, grass finished. And they can dye the color of the butter to make it yellow. So what happens when a fat is pasteurized is you lose the enzymes and the enzymes can help digestion. You also lose some of the nutrient content. Is this, you know, kind of an end all be all thing? No, I mean, technically speaking, grass fed butter from the supermarket is still better than foods that a lot of people have access to. But keep in mind, you might be consuming rancid fats. When they heat these fats, they last much longer. Whereas if you bought you know, cultured butter, it ferments naturally over a period of time and it's something your body is supposed to be, you know, consuming, you know, natural fermented bacteria and enzymes. Uh, you know, if that is the, if the supermarket stuff is your only option by all means, and it's your only source of fat, you can use it, but I would not be confident in the vitamin content of it, nor would I be content in, you know, the absence of rancidity or negative inflammatory factors, maybe even some degree of histamine intolerance. So, Keep that in mind when you're buying butter from the supermarket and you know, I mean, this stuff isn't cheap, you know, it's 10 to $12 a pound depending on where you are. So 
Uh, there are definitely cheaper sources of high quality fat that most people can find access to. Overall, it's just one of those foods that is so delicious, it's so tasty, and it's amazing that it's good for you. Since I am allergic to dairy, what I actually do is I usually take this and I put it in a dehydrator at a very low temperature and I pretty much make it into a raw clarified butter. So I preserve the enzymes by keeping it raw, but I remove the casein protein that can cause inflammation for me. So thank you guys for watching. If you guys would like to support the channel, please subscribe and share the video. Uh, there's a bunch of stuff you guys can check out in the description if any of that interests you, from Patreon to my Amazon shop to social media. If you guys do want to reach out to me for one-on-one -on -one consultations, uh, you could reach out to me through the contact form on my website or directly frankatofano at gmail.com. If you guys have any questions about dairy, anything related to this video, or any videos you would like to see in the future, please feel free to leave your recommendations in the comments.